That's what I'm like. I'm tired. No, no, you just need apps to get out. Let's go. I did. I did. I already got yelled at. I got chastised. All right. We left off. We got the two dots on top of Nun Vav. I'm an olive. Um, today is the last uh, daf. I believe tomorrow is Beitza, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, Beitza, and I will bring you a proof uh, tomorrow morning, Mr. Shem. So you have to show up, and uh, you'll see my proof. No, it's called Beitza, and not referred to as Beya. Fine. Zuck, the Gemara, seven lines on top. Um, so we said, and away we go. So we said over there, but it's hard when you quote from Misha. So it says, but Sarah's Hamilo, hey, look, on at Sarah's on the holiday of Shavuos, when there's two different types of uh, there's the the quote unquote matzah, as we're going to call it, you know, as the mission called this, referring to the uh, the 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 lechlapanim, right, the 12 loaves. And then there was the two loaves that were brought in Shavuos, that is chametz, right? So, Zak the Gemara. Itamar, we're going to bring a related machlokas and then bring it back to our case. Now, Itamar Rav Omar, when one gets in the sukkah and he makes kiddush the first night, sukkah one makes a bracha on sukkah, right? The Kadesh Yisrael, the Hasmanim, right? And then afterwards, he makes the bracha of Shechiano, like we do, right? And Rav Rechana Omar, Zman, the Achakach sukkah, right? Now, first he says Shechiano, and then he make the bracha on sukkah. Actually, sukkah, fine. Second. Um, right. Uh, no, actually, this is the bracha of, not, this is not the Kiddush, right? This is the no, bracha of Leishev. Right, Leishev, right. Right, right. Some hold it. It's a misfile. Actually, I spoke out. This is a toast. This is Rashi here. Right. All right, whatever. Fine. Anyways. So, the bracha of Leishev versus Shachiano or vice versa, right? And Rabbi Rachan Omar is man. First, you make the bracha of sukkah, and afterwards, you make the bracha of sukkah on, on the sukkah itself. Rav Omar is man. What's the reason? The chiyuv of the yom ha'adim, the chiyuv of the day. Since there's the sukkah holiday, we make that. And Rabbi Rachan Omar is man. Why? Tadr shenat tadr tadr kodem. Right. So, since the the bracha of shachianu is more tadr, is more common. Therefore, you say the more common bracha first. So Lema Rav. So now we're going to first attach this machlokas over there of whether it's the Iker Zman versus Tadir, which one comes first. So Lema <coughs> Rav Rav Rechana looks at the Beisham Beisilo. Let's say they are discussing when it comes to machlokas between Beisham and Beisilo. Kim Eflugi that they're arguing about. The Tan Rabbanon we learn Devarim Shabbat Devarim Shabbat Beisham Beisilo Besuda amongst the machlokas arguments between Beisham and Beisilo in a Suda. Also comes with the bracha of the way we make Kiddush Friday night. First he says Mekadesh Shabbos, and then he makes the bracha of Brepiyah Gafin. Who base hello Amrim Beisel says like we do. First you make Brepiyah Gafin, and then you get into the bracha of Ayom. We get to the Kiddush. First you make a bracha on the day, and then the wine. Why? Shayom Gerem Liyayin. Because the day causes the wine to come. So since the day, right, and it was Wednesday, right, you wouldn't be making a break very often. So since it's, it's, it's the Shabbos that brings it, that brings that brings, it makes you take out the wine, therefore you make the bracha on Shabbos first, then you make a bracha on the wine. Because um, the, the, the day is already Mekadesh, you know, when you're bringing out the wine. And the wine even has not come out yet. So in other words, it, it it becomes, you know, once the change of the clock, it's Shabbos, and then you make Kiddush, but Shabbos first, so therefore Shabbos, you make the bracha Shabbos first, and then the wine. Why? Because the wine, you know, you wouldn't be making Kiddush if you didn't have wine. So since once you have the wine, therefore that causes me to make the Kiddush, therefore it's the bracha on the wine, and then the bracha on Kiddush. The Dover Acher, bracha Zayayin, Tadir. Also, the berachas of wine is tadir, right? Which is the um, uh, so base Hillel is saying some, right? He's saying something similar to that which um, Rabbi Baruchana said, right? Rabbi Baruchana used that sort of tadir. And the berachas of the kiddush is not every day, right? And therefore, tadir tadir Therefore, the presumption is that people drink wine every day. Um, I guess, or it can be. 
the, or it can be done more, multiple times a week, right? So Lema Rav, let's say Rav holds like Beishamai, who says, right, the Iker is the Yo, right? Like you say, the Sukkah first, right? Rav Rechana, let's say Beishilo, that that which is Tandir comes first. So look at Rav, Rav would say, no, no, no. Oh no, I who holds that you make the brochan so can afterwards man dummy I feel the base hill. I call it like base hill. I'd come like every base hill hustle. The only reason base hill is set up there when it comes to Kiddush on Shab is El Shayang, you're in the garden of Kiddush Shatamar, right? Because the wine caused the kids to be set to make the brochan the wine. About Haka, but over here, he loves man. If it wasn't, if you didn't make Jechiano, Milo Marina, and Sukkah, we would still not make a bracha on Sukkah. We would. So therefore, it's not like Sukkah is depending over there, one was depending on the other. Over here, the Zman is not dependent, or the Sukkah is not dependent on the Zman. The Rabbi Rechanam, the Chal, on the of the Beishami, he says, No, I can hold even like Beishami. Ad Kan Lehim Rabbi Beishami Hasam, El Shayyim Gurim Liyayim Shayyavu. Over there, the only reason why Beishami says that you make the bracha on the day first, on the kid, uh, uh, right, is because the day, because it turns Friday night, the clock, the clock turns, therefore it's already Mikadi Shabbos, and then afterwards you bring out the wine. So therefore you make the bracha on that first. But over here, Elav Sukkah. But if it wasn't for Sukkah, Milo Amrin and Sman, would you not make a bracha of Shechiyan? In other words, right, Rashi points out, either person was was somewhere not near a Sukkah, he'd still make a Shechiyan on the Yantif, right? Every Yantif has a Shechiyan. So therefore, he, it's not causing the other ones. So therefore, you'd still make a Shechiyan even without the Sukkah. Fine. That was that Machlokas over there. Now, Tanan, Biat Seris. When it comes to Shavuos, we're talking about the dividing the Chali rolls, right? So we said, our Mishnah said, the Chilu Kapani, they they used to divide between all the Mishmaros and Biat Saras, I'm just reading from the, from the uh, so Amilo, Heiluch Matzah, the Heiluch Chamas. Here is your Matzah, here is your Lechem Apanim, here's your, 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 your 12 loaves from Shabbos, right? Divide it. And Heiluch Chamas, here is your Chamas, here is your two loaves from Shavuos. Now, Iva hacha, but over here in this case, the chametz zikr umatzah tafel over here, that the chametz is zikr. The main part of shavuos is the shtei lechem, right? So shtei lechem really zikr umatzah tafel. But tani helech matzah vehelech chametz. Here is your matzah. Here is your chametz. It sounds like the shabbos is divided first before the shavuos, even though the ikar hayom is shavuos, right? Nevertheless, they take the sh- they're, they're dividing. The, uh, the the Shabbos one first. The only ones who need to stay alive are the Yeah, it's divided amongst the Shabbos. He's a divided amongst the So we're talking about. So oh, so which would they eat first? Right, which would they divide first? Which would they give out first? Right. So over there, they, they gave out the Shabbos first, right? Even though there wasn't acre. So the Gemara says. Oh, you're talking about the lechem yeah. Both of them, right? The lechem apanim are divided, and the shtei lechem, right? But the lechem upon him go first, because tadir sheino tadir, right? Which sounds like a kasha to you to the rap. It'll be a kasha and rap because rab is the one who says ikur diyom adifa, right? The day, the the, the 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 you know the 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 chametz should come first because that's the shavuos. So I'm like a No, tonight it's actually my close tonight. The tiny little rice of heiluch matzah. Here is your matzah. Here is your right your lechem the, the, the lechem upon him and heiluch chametz. Here's your shtei lechem. Now, the Shalom, no, no, no. Heiluch Hametz. First, you take care of the the the, the Shavuos, the Shei Lechem, and Heiluch Matz, and then you take care of the Lechem upon him from the the weekly ones that are that were put out. And Darz of Nachum by Rachizda like the Dei Rav, Darz Sukkah Vechaga calls Zman. We don't hold like Rav, who says first you make the bracha on the Sukkah, and afterwards you make a bracha of Shachiano El Zman. First you make a Shachiano Vechaga, so afterwards make a bracha of on Sukkah on the Sukkah. And Rosheshes braid the Ravidi Omar Sukkah the Achar Kaksla. No, you break the Brachah Sukkah. And afterwards, Sman the Hilchasa. And the Lach is Sukkah the Achar Kach Sman. And the Lach is that uh, you first make the Brachah Sukkah, and afterwards, uh, Sman. Fine, right? I know it's a little issue when it comes to second day, uh, second day Yante, right? You switch it around. Fine. Now, uh, then we said Mishpar Shizvano Tavua. Whoever's week that was when the holiday fell out, they get all the regular, the regular Karbanos, the Shark Karbanos, Sibur, right? They get they do the Tamid. And it says, Nadar and Davos and Karnas Sibur. So, Lasuye Mai, what does that come to include? Lasuye Paralem Dovar, right? If there was a Paralem Dovar which is brought when the base didn't make an erroneous ruling and the robe of the people follow it, then it was something that potentially could have carried a Kares. So, therefore, they bring a Paralem Dovar, Shal Sibur, 
and the series of a serious of a series of others also if there was a false ruling regarding some matter whether it was about or not they all did it and it turns out it was about then you they bring this seire of others and those if that was done during that week that is only uh, uh given to the kohanim whose turn it was that week and they offer everything the, the, the desserts of the Mizbeach, right? Oftentimes, if the, the, the Mizbeach is idle, right? They don't want to sit idle, so therefore they brought the other carbonos, other olos, that was called the Kaitz Shell of Mizbeach. That is the, the, the dessert of Mizbeach, so it wouldn't stand and be idle. Fine. Naya Mishnah, the last Mishnah of the Masechta. So it says, Mishnah, Yom Tov HaStamak Shabbos. If Yom Tov comes out close to the, the, on Friday, Right, or on Sunday, so they have to uh, they have to wait around. Actually, they can't travel back to Mishmaros. Right, they used to go ahead and, and switch over on Shabbos. Right, so but now they got to get to come a day early. They got to come Thursday if it's Friday, or they have, they can't leave until Monday. So how you call them Mishmaros Shabbos bechilah lechapanim? Those two groups will be even the lechapanim. Chal yais yaim echad lahafsi ben zayim. If there was a day in between, in other words, there was it was on Thursday, and therefore Friday was a short day for them to travel, right? They had to be there, right? And they or or, or end, the holiday ended on Thursday, and therefore there's little time for them to travel out on Friday, or it started on Monday, and there's little time for them to get in on Sunday, so they had to come from before Shabbos, right? So Chaliyah say Mechel Hafsik the time Mishmar Shizmano Kavua Hayanaita Eser Chalas. The normal people would they would go ahead and divide ten Chalas instead of twelve. Even the one who had to stay around, who had to stay longer, Neitel Stein would take two extra loaves. And during the other days of the year, the incoming, the new group, the one who started today, they take six loaves. And the one that leaving, they take six. Uh, obviously, it evens out because they're coming in, they get six this week. And then when they leave next week, they get the other six. And Rabbi Huda Aymer, Hanichnas Neitel Shevis says, no, no, those who come in, they the new, the, the new guys, they get seven, and Hayyad say, and then those who are leave get five, so therefore they get seven this week, and next week when they're done with their service, before they go home, they'll take five of the loaves, and Anachnasim, Cholkim, Betzafot, and then when they go ahead and they divide it, amongst the Mishmaros, those who are entering, the new people, right, the ones who are now in charge, they uh, divide it in the northern part of the courtyard, Hayyad and those who are leaving, right, their shift is over, they do Badarum in the south, and Dilga, and Bilga, however, Bilga as a punishment always did it in the, in the south, it was less chashiv because the north was like you're running the show, but in the south it was less chashiv. The Tabasa, Kavua, and there were 24 rings in the ground, each one for the, the Mishmar, but their ring was not was not able to turn so they could you know put it in the ground and, and round it up. Rather, it was fixed there to put the animals' heads for the, it was, uh, to, to, to hold, uh, you know, for the Shechita. So their ring was fixed as a punishment. The Chalonis Tumen also, they didn't have a, a little bin, right? They, they didn't, you know, the, the little bins we have here, they didn't have their bin for that for that group as a punishment, which we'll see in the Gemara. Right, no. So the Mishmar only served one week. Right, uh, twice a year, because right. it was 24 and 24, right, which is 48, approximately the length of a year. <coughs> Fine. Zog to Gemara. My Melafanah, my Melacharah. What does it mean? If Yantif fell out first or Yantif fell out afterwards. So Ibe Malif now Yom Tavarishan, if it means that it came up before was Yom Tavarishan. That was the first day of Sukkot, let's say, started Friday. And the Akhra was at the end, and that was Yom Tavarishan, and then the last day, or the last day of Sukkot was on Sunday. So Haina Shabbos 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 Well, that doesn't make sense because then that Shabbos, we said, is Shabbos 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 That Shabbos is split amongst all 24 Mishmaros because that one has to be there for Yantif. So Ella, rather, what does it mean? Lefanah, Yom Tov Achra means before. It means the last day of Sukkot was Friday, right? El Achra, Yom Tov Arisha. And then after it, now it's, it was Sunday, means the first day, you know, Sukkot started on Sunday, right? But not, you know, but Shabbos wasn't part of the holiday. And therefore, that Shabbos is not divided amongst all 24 Mishmaros. Rather, only the incoming and the outgoing. My time, for what's the reason? Since they had to come early or they had to stay late, depending on which day it was, it was an extra day, they had to come Friday, it was a two day holiday. They could, so, therefore, since they had to be there anyways together, we said, you know, it'd be nice if they sit and eat uh, uh, together. And if there's one day in between, 
right? Then they, they go ahead and they divide, but normally it goes seven, five, or six, six, is my focus between Rabbi Yehuda and the Rabbanan. Turn the page. And nun vav amud beis. So the hadi tarti mavi yisayu. That which Rabbi Yehuda says, the incoming gets seven, the outgoing gets five. So the incoming gets more. Why do they get more? So Rabbi Yitzchak b'schar ha'gavas delatos. Because the, 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 the ones in the morning, they open up the gates, but the guys were leaving, you know, but the, the, right, the ones that were leaving, they open up the gates because they start in the morning, as we'll soon see when the transition was. But the, the newcomers, they the one who closed the gates. So since they had to finish up the work of the morning guys, right? So therefore, the incoming people, they had a little more work, therefore, they get the extra loaves. I have a name of late, Dal Badal. Why don't they just say, okay, well, it doesn't make sense because next week you're going to be in the morning. So Everyone does the same work. You just so just do six and six. What's what's the big deal, right? So we say no. Sometimes it's better to get a uh, to get a small gourd better than a big one. In other words, you have something right now. Better take something small now than wait for it to, to go ahead and get bigger and bigger. And who knows what will happen to it? Better just to take now. You want to take? You're doing a little extra work now, so I'm going to take the seven now, right? The seven loves now, even though next week, a week later, I'm only going to have five, right? They divide the Musa. Not only do they divide the loaves, as we described, but they also divide the Musafin. Mm-hmm. The, the Mishman is leaving. In other words, they were there the entire week. They're working. Shabbos morning. Okay, this is our last morning. They do the Tamit Shashachar. They bring the, the morning Tamit and the Musaf. And the, and the extra kabbatos that are brought for Shabbos, and Mishmai and Nichnesses, and then now the new shiva comes in. Ice Tamid Shabbat Nabayim. The Bzichin they do the, the afternoon Tamid, and they also offer the, the frankincense. The Bzichin Vilu Musafin Cholking Lokstani, but it doesn't say anywhere that they divide the Musafin. It just says you know the morning people brought it. So Gemara says no. Hi Tanu Bechaluka Loi Kamari. This this Mishnah is not dealing with dividing. So yeah, they divided. They just wasn't talking about dividing. It was just talking about who offered it. So okay. Where is and, the, uh, the, yeah, the, the two the, the, the two spoons um, on, on top. Right, but where is it burned? Yeah, on, on the outer or the uh, yeah. inner? Outer is burned. Not the inner. But the, the guitarist is brought on the inside. The chavitin, right. The, 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 Fine, the, the coin goes. Yes, it's done with the with the tamid shal ben arba. Right, because that, that right that was brought with the um, that was brought. I mean, as it says, that was brought by the incoming, the, the new guys. And I'm a rabba tanit the beishmol, the mai bechaluka, musavik chol yilok adani. Okay, well, there's actually another price that was taught by tanit the beishmol. They taught they were discussing dividing, and they never mentioned dividing the musafin, right? The time, the time, the uh, the base. Well, Mishmara, yeah, you say the one who's leaving, that was the guys who's last morning. It is, I said, Tommy Shoshakar, but Musafin, they bring the morning Tommy to the Musafin. Mishmara, Nichnes, says the one that's coming in, they do, I said, Tommy, excuse me, and they do, I said, Tommy Shobera by a Bazikin. They do the afternoon one and the Bazikin and Arba, Kohanim, Hayu Nikhasim Sham, Shlem Shazer, Shlem Shazer, and four Kohanim will come in, two from each Mishmar. Uh, uh, the Cholkin Lechem upon, and they divide the Lechem upon. That's the end of the Brisa. Vilu Musafin Cholkin Lokitani, but it doesn't mention anything about dividing the Musafin, right? The, the, the parts that the Kwanik would eat of the, the Musaf offering is say they're divided. It seems to be that it goes with the morning group. So Tiyufta, the Raviuta, Tiyufta, so Tiyufta, and Raviuta. And then we said, Ichlasim Cholkin Mitzafon, those who enter, they, uh, they eat in the north. The new coming group, they in the north. So people will see that they're the ones who are in charge. They're in the north. The people uh, who are leaving, who worked the entire week, they in the they divide theirs in the south, and they, they uh, in order that people will see that they are the outgoing mishnah. And Bilgal and Bilgal always divided as a punishment, right? That's like the, the, the worst location because most of the action usually took place in the northern part, right? Was in the south. Now, Tanner about it. Maisa of Miriam Bas Bilga. So, what was the reason why Bilga was punished? The Maisa of Miriam Bas Bilga. One time, it was Maisa of Miriam, who was the daughter of Bilga. Shemira that that she went off the derech. The halchavani says the sardiu echad. The malchi yivarim. She went ahead and married some uh, Greek officer. Shenichnasu yivarim lehecha. When the invited came to the Heikha, 
She took her, her shoe, her sandal, and she hit the Mizbech. Loikus, loikus, right? So she basically cursed like locus, like a consumer, consumer, right? And mother atamachlam and money shall Israel, right? How uh, how long are you going to go ahead and eat, consume the money of the Jews, right? All they do is pay for animals and offer animals, pay for animals, offer animals. And you don't help them when they need. When the Chavim heard that what she did, Kavu as Tabasa Vesadvas Chalona. They punished and said, you know what? Your ring is going to be uh, in the ground, right? The ring for the for this Mishmar, and we will seal up their little uh, cubby. Mm-hmm. And some say, Mishmarazo, Shai Lobo. Some say, no, what, that wasn't the reason my bill was punished. The reason my bill was punished because they used to always come late. Then Ichnas Yishavev, Achiv, Imo. And Yishavev used to come in early in order to go ahead and do the extra of Shimesh Tachta and go and build his place. And even though we normally say that the neighbors of Rashaim are not rewarded, the rest, the um, the the what's it called? The um, the neighbors of Bilga were punished, uh, were, were rewarded. Why? Because if Bilga didn't do it, someone else had to do it. And if you do more of the avoda, that's like that's a reward, right? To do more of the avoda in the, in the mikdash, right? Because uh, the one who comes afterwards, or was when, when the one who's coming in. Right, this is supposed to be the north, and the Yishavim was in the south. Nevertheless, they always got the south, so therefore, even, so they were in the north twice. So therefore, they were uh, Yishavim was rewarded, right? So without Yishavim, and the Yishavim, the brother uh, or the brother of the fellow Bimer uh, would be in the north. Now, a couple more lines. So I understand according to this said, well, what did Bilga do wrong? He used to come late. So he punished the entire Mishmar. Makes sense. I understand because just because his daughter went off to Derek, so therefore we're gonna go ahead and punish because the, the, the father of the entire Mishmar. Right? No, because what a child says in public, basically, you know, they heard it at home. So, uh, therefore, the mother and the father, because of the actions of the parents, and therefore, since the action of the parents, so therefore, that's the reason why, that's the reason why they, we say um, that the entire Mishmar was, uh, the entire Mishmar was punished. I will stop here, so tonight, <laughs> we, we, uh, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, we'll stop here. Let, let's just...